Hello, Hello everybody. <laughs> We're so glad you're with us today. Jump up and worship with us. <laughs>
We have learned so much this month from the book of Genesis. We started with creation. We moved on to Adam and Eve breaking their perfect relationship with God and then learned about the relationship between Cain and Abel being ruined with anger and jealousy. We really can get ourselves into some messes, can't we? Today's story is about another mess. The people in Genesis 11 thought they would make a name for themselves and build a huge tower that everyone would see. However, that isn't what God had asked them to do. Let's see how this story unfolds. so much making that I decided I was going to build a digital tower on GoBlox, this video building game, and see how tall I could make it. In the game, there are little creatures that try to knock over my tower, so I have to keep them away while I'm building. Right now, I am at 52 blocks high. Can you believe it? 52 blocks high! Here comes number 53, and there! Got it! 53 blocks. Oh, watch out! Get away, creatures! Phew! Do you think I can make it 54? Can't it with me? 54, 54, 54, 54! Got it! Whoa! Shh! My little bro can't play this game. It's just for me. Hmm. I feel like maybe my little bro and I should play together so we can make stuff together or break stuff together. But I was building this tall tower for me. This tower is to prove how high I can build. If I play with my little bro, he might break it. What should I do? I need to think about this while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 11. God had made everything, like everything. The sky, stars, ocean, animals, everything. But the most favorite thing that God made was us, people. But God's favorite kept making bad decisions. Still, God loved them very, very much. And God watched over them as they moved along. At this point, everyone spoke the exact same way and in the same language. Everyone could understand everyone. One day, the people decided to start building. They wanted to build a city with a big tower in the middle, a tower so tall it would touch heaven. God didn't mind the people making. In fact, God loves it when we make things. The problem was they were making it for themselves. They were making this tower to prove how awesome they were, instead of how awesome God was for giving them the ability to make it in the first place. God knew this was not a good decision. The tower they were building was only to make themselves look great and God knew it wouldn't last. People would destroy each other as they tried to prove who was the best, even better than God. So God stopped the people from making their tower and scattered them all over the world. And God gave them different languages. The people's choice to make for themselves made God sad. But now, scattered all around, they had the chance to make the right choice, to make for God. Because we can honor God with the things we make. Okay, little bro. And go! Oh, the tower fell! That's cool! Now let's build it up again! Maybe we can make it even taller so that when we break it, it will fall even harder! Hey friends! So after hearing the Bible story, I decided the right choice was to build something with my little bro that we could both make and break together! And, as it turns out, that's not only how I can honor God with the things I make, it's also how I can have the most fun. Building a tall tower is really cool, but seeing a really tall tower fall? Well, that's just awesome! Check it out in slow motion. My 
little bro and I are having a blast. Who knew it would be so much fun to learn that? We can honor God with the things we make. focused on what they wanted and not on what God had asked of them. God caused them to speak different languages so they couldn't communicate very well. They eventually did what God asked and moved all over the world. God's way is always the best way. Let's thank him for guiding us. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us and um, having the ability to do that and for us to be able to hear you and respond to that. I pray that you would always give us ears to hear your um, guiding words and hearts that would desire to obey you so that we can see wonderful things happen for your people. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. I can't wait for you to join us next week for staycation. Sometimes vacations can take us far, far away from home. And sometimes we just need to be less busy at home and really enjoy the sights around us and spending quality time with our family. However, sometimes it is hard to enjoy the people we spend the most <laughs> time with because people can be hard to get along with. Let's see what God has to say about our relationships with our family. See you next week.